Yo, you two, what the business is? I said we back with another reaction video. And today we're going to be reacting to Trench News on um, coming out, not coming out, but explaining how he became an FBI informant. So, if you haven't been seeing it, it's been going viral over YouTube. Him, it, well, we all know he's a snitch, but everybody been talking about it now. So, we're just going to get into the reaction video. We're going to do some by talking. Yeah, hey, man. Go ahead and react to that thing. See what he's talking about. All rats must die. <laughs> I'm just playing. No. Volume might be too hot. Let me check. Hey, what the fuck is that? Don't y'all boy? You're right. Okay, well, this came out in court also. So, according to reports, in 2006, you got arrested by Sergeant Ronald Watts, who was a corrupt Chicago police sergeant. Yes, sir. Tell me about what happened. Um, so I I came home. Hey, off the bat, I want to know on some real shit. Why this nigga be wearing the mask like nobody know who the hell he is? Nigga, everybody know who you is behind that mask. All the niggas in Chicago know who you is, bro. What is you still wearing this damn ski mask for like a nigga don't know who you are, bro? Like, take that shit off, nigga. Everybody know you're a rat now, bro. <laughs> I, I was out in 06. I had the, um, you know, I was doing my robberies. That's where I started at with Watts. I never knew Watts, who Watts was until then. Like, my mom and them know who Watts is, everybody, because he from the low end, too. He's just a police officer who was getting his ass kicked in school. And then when he became a, a police officer, everybody who was doing shit to him and treating him in high school, he had a vengeance. So, Watts was like the, 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 the hobos, he was like the hobos savior. Like, if you get into it with the hobo, anybody into it, he dropping addresses, he robbing people with them, like, he doing, he setting up, like, he telling them what people at, pulling people over, unarming them, and then they... This sound like some BMF shit on some movie shit, bitch. Like, what's the dirty, what's the cop name, uh... Nah, it's like Howard off Raising the Canaan, bitch. <laughs> come and rob you. Like, he was doing shit like that, so... I walking out my father's house one day, and the man pulled up on me, I hit a lick though. I hit a lick. I robbed somebody who was with the hobos. And a man told me, hey, look, you can get them their money back or you going to jail. You're going to have a better problem. You're going to put some shit on me. You know what I'm talking about? Then I had problems with him ever since then, man. And then he even locked my mama up, bro, behind this shit. He had locked my mama up. My mama did. Vlad, you can look up my mama. I had you look up my mama so you can get on your platform and be like, yeah, his mama got locked up, bro. My mama was on dialysis when she went to the joint. Damn. The man couldn't get me, so kid. This I'm doing the video, kid. This goes to show y'all, your shit can fuck up your family. That's how my mama ended up getting clean off drugs. Right, because uh, Sergeant Watts was sentenced to 22 months in federal prison for stealing what he believed was drug money from a federal informant. Yep. And after he got arrested. Prosecutors threw out more than 200 convictions that were linked to the unit that he was leading. Yeah, he had a whole task uh, force. Right. He was also accused of extorting money from drug dealers at the uh, Ida B. Wells homes. Yeah. And falsely, falsely arresting people who wouldn't cooperate. Yeah, that was him. Well, and what they said was after that run-in you had with Watts, you became an FBI informant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, but your so, ass is so red. That's true. Um, I walked into the police station. I walked into the police station trying to tell them, like, this man taking people money and shit and all that. And one of the one of the uh, commanders, the district commander, told me, he said, you don't want to do this. You should have sat your dumb ass down and left that shit alone. You know you doing your dirt. Why is you going to the station trying to snitch on him? Nigga, you doing your dirt too? Nigga, mind your business. Dumb man, like, why is you snitching on somebody when you doing dirt? Like, he said, if you do this, you might want to go to somebody bigger. It was a white guy. He said, you might want to go to somebody bigger because he the governor of the low end. So, hey, look, I've been to school before. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, shit, what I do? I call my teacher. I tell my teacher, like, man, I'm in the, I'm in the streets. I'm already starving, but then I got to go against the drug dealers and him. My teacher told me straight up, like, man, call the, call the feds, man. The feds gonna be able to do something about it. And when I told them, they was already on them. They was already, like, investigating them. You know what I'm saying? So, I just added a little spice to it, man, to get him, to get him. But I don't regret it either, but I don't regret that shit either. 
Okay, so your cooperation with the FBI led to his arrest? Yep. Well, it was a part of it. Part of it. it was, you know, it was more people. It was, a, it was a lot of people. Like, out of 246, just imagine how many people made statements on the man, you know, before that. Okay, so in 2008, that's when your mom ended up getting locked up. Yeah, I got, I got arrested. I got arrested, too. I got arrested before my mom got locked up. Like, I was over there in the extension buildings with Brick, FBG Brick. Man, yeah, Brick was right in the building. Watching them come up there, and he come in there, he say, man, you got something for me? I say, I ain't got nothing for you. He say, you going to jail then. And then, after that, I reported to the feds again. This motherfucker harassing me. And then, that's when my mama went to jail, and then he ended up going to jail down the line. Later on, though, but, yeah. Right. Your mom got six years for heroin possession. Yeah, six. I mean, I, I, I understand what he trying to come from, but at the end of the day, I still don't understand. Because I feel like, that's how I feel. I already feel like the street life, all that gang shit is stupid anyways, though. But this is how I feel, though. If you're going to put yourself in these predicaments to be a thug, to be a killer, to be sell dope, sell dope, to rob people, all that, you got to take what comes with this shit. The police fucking with you. You can't snitch, bro. You done vowed to the streets. You vowed to this shit that this is what you doing. You can't be snitching. You feel me? Not even on the damn police. You can't snitch on them. Nah, if you're a regular civilian, you ain't in that street shit. And people just fucking harassing you. I understand. But he was harassing you, which is wrong. But was he wrong for harassing you? Was he? Exactly. He wasn't. Shit. Now, all the other people probably yes. But this little motherfucker, nah, he wasn't wrong. She is, man. And Logan Correctional Facility, bro. Yup. Right. Oh, uh, but fortunately during that time, she ended up getting clean. This bitch need to be in prison. All the snitching he do. How the fuck you know all this shit? Everything, bro. Like she, uh, she ain't even want. She ain't even want the watch money. Like she could have got the lawsuit money. She ain't even want it. She said that God blessed her. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if my mama ain't want it, and God blessed the man, and watch he 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 he, he out of the system. I just looked at it like, yeah, you know, God did do that for you, mom. He cleans you up. Okay, and around that time, you were staying at Oblock? No, I was I was on the low end. I was on the low end still. I was on the low end still. I ain't go to the to I uh, well. Let me stop. I've been on I've been on on sixty third since two thousand two, but I was moving around. Like I ain't just staying in Parkway. Like I ain't start staying in Parkway until after we got into the hobos. So after my homies them got killed, two thousand seven, two thousand. That's when I. That's when I started really going in at Parkway, 08, like shit like that. But I've been over there. I've been on 63rd, both sides, um, both sides, Gyro and um, Old Block, because my blocks was on both sides. When the project buildings fell down, half of my block went to Gyro City, through them blocks, through Doug them blocks, and half of them went to Old Block. So I was never, a, I was never playing both sides because I could go on both sides. All my, fa all my project is on both sides, like. I never had a problem. I never had to say I'm this or this to go on either side, bro. They already knew. He from the low end. Everybody from them communities, from Old Block and from Gyro, most of them people are from the low end. Most of them people, all the kids. Okay, now according to reports, in 2011, you cooperated with the FBI again. I, I, I cooperated with them again. Hey, y'all, that's going to wrap up today's video. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all feel like if you in the streets, right, and the police start fucking with you or whatever, do you feel like you allowed to snitch on the police or not? Because me personally, I feel like all that stingy shit is out the window. I don't give a fuck if it's the police. You can't snitch on nobody. I don't care. Once you, put your, once you sign up for this shit, you got to take what come with it. Take that shit to the chin. That police might been doing wrong, dirty shit, but guess what, nigga? You were doing bad shit too. Just because he was he was fucking with everybody else, he was fucking with you, but he had reason to fuck with you because you were doing dumb ass shit. You were breaking people's houses and shit. So if you know what come with this shit, it ain't no snitching, brother. You got to take that shit to the chin. So, hey, I feel like, I feel like it ain't no way around this shit. Your ass is a snitch. And I also feel, even though he locked your mom up, you still a snitch. You know why? I would never be in the streets. But this is why I'm going to say this. You want to take your ass to the streets. Now you got new principles. You got new rules to follow. 
family, mama, all that shit out the window. You don't put their life in jeopardy too. You see, he don't he the reason his mama got locked up. You see, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why all that shit is out the window now. Just because, nigga. Once you start, one, like I said, once you put your life onto this shit, to that shit, I ain't in this shit. Into that street shit, everything's out the window, bro. You can't even, bro, if your mama get shot in her head, bro, you can't even tell who did it. Better go find them. Don't put your life in the streets. But that's going to wrap up today's video. Y'all let me know what y'all think of today's video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I drop a video. And we gone. Hey, remain humble and stand on business. We gone.